Hello, and welcome to Making Canoe Paddles, Part 1. Today I'll be starting the making of the canoe paddle. I'm, I'm waiting on material for my canoe to come in, and so I thought I would go ahead and start on the paddle. Uh, I've got several things I've been considering on this. One, uh, I'm going to be using mahogany and oak, and I'm concerned that it might make it too heavy but I'll, I'll go ahead and proceed anyway. Another is the type of glue I've got. Three types of glue uh, I would think about using here is epoxy, pipe barn three, and gorilla glue. Uh, the epoxy I won't use because I'm using white oak. Pipe barn three, I'm not sure how well it's gonna hold up, so I'm gonna use gorilla glue, even though it may leave a wider uh, glue line. Here are the materials I'll be using. Here's the little bit of mahogany that I have, and beside it is the is the white oak. And I'll be using this paddle here from Walmart as a pattern. The one thing about this paddle is the blade. The blade on this paddle is only about six inches wide, and I will make the new blade eight inches long. This, this canoe paddle is about the right length of what I need, so I will use it as a pattern and just make the scoop um, 8 inches wide. Okay, based on my first studies, I'm going to end up with a paddle that's 8 and 3 quarters wide and 22 inches long. I will start with a shaft of wide oak that will run from the handle all the way through the center of the, the uh, paddle itself, and it will be 8 it'll probably be an inch and a quarter wide and then I will start stripping from there with three quarter inch strips alternating between wide oak and mahogany. I end up, well, I will need six mahogany strips and four oak strips each 22 inches long. I will take and cut these out of the mahogany and the oak and then I will plane them down to about three eighth inch thickness and then we'll commence to glue up from there. As you can see here, I'll clamp my existing paddle down onto the wide oak, and I'm going to use this as a pattern to lay out the shaft. I stop my marking where the shaft is going to go turns into the paddle because from here on out I'm going to be just slightly longer than this paddle. I'll be at 22 inches instead of 20. center shaft cut out, had an issue at the corner at the handle end, but I believe I can make it work. If you will see, the wood chipped out a little bit here on the end, on both sides, just a little bit. But I think that it's enough that I can make it work and, and still look good. The next thing to do is to set the table saw up and start ripping uh, out strips to make the paddle with. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, make the strips to make up the blade of the paddle, but my mahogany is an inch thick and my oak is seven eighths thick, and my strips are going to be three quarters inches wide by three eighths of an inch thick. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get my stock down to the same thickness. So using the uh, Grizzly planer, I will take and plane both of these boards, one's mahogany and one's oak, down to three quarters inch final thickness, and then I will set up a table saw and make three quarter inch, I'm sorry, three eighth inch wide strips. Okay, I've got the first half of the blade of the paddle glued up. I'm gluing up one half at a time, and uh, when this sets up, set up dries, I will start on the second half. As you can see, I've got it clamped pretty tightly, and hopefully, when this all gets said and done, and I get both sides glued up, I'll be able to clean it up and trim it up and shape it and get the nice, pleasing shape that I want. This is the end of part one.